All right, it's happening. Live radio is happening, folks. Of course, I hit the wrong button. Well, we're different than commercial radio stations, number one. We don't have sponsors, we have underwriting. People that listen to the radio and hear what they like, they usually don't go away. With my show, I always say, it's simple, good music always works. If you like it, you're gonna wanna hear what's coming next. One, radio is important because uh, we can reach um, people who can't get out of the home to be infirm. Um, we, we call it sometimes the 100 watt wonder because <laughs> that's all we've got to work with but we have the stream which is worldwide. This experience is it's a community experience. It's for them. It's not a property. It's our experience. And we emphasize a lot in Central American music. Honduras, music from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua give the opportunity to musicians to, to show their work here. I think it's amazing. We're making, a, I think, a GoFundMe for WCOM. Nice. Because uh, trust me, this freaking station needs funded. Yeah, go fund yeah. us. Yeah. Well, the reason yeah. people should not only donate funds, but donate time and energy, is if they believe people in the community should have an outlet for their voice to be heard. And have a varied, innovative schedule. And we had that, we still do, but it's different. We've morphed into something completely different than what we started out as. Maybe the year 1999, I think, when the FCC, the federal government, issued low-powered station licenses, 100-watt stations. But there were all kind of restrictions. And Jacques Menage and Ruffin, uh, they knew how to get around with any number of things. In the rush of this growing digital um, situation, that is great. Um, we are losing a little bit what a station means, and we need to pass that to the to the youth, to the younger generation. Put shows on and develop shows around uh, car the Carborough residents, so it's a focus where Carborough is first and foremost in what we do. We're not owned and controlled by the people that supply us with commercials. Well, the mission from the beginning was to be a community radio station. And our mission was to give every person in the community that wanted a, a, a voice on the air the opportunity to broadcast the show. And I think you'll like the music. And live and local. How far back can you remember radio? 